So we accidentally bought another bike. Don't you hate when that happens? No, but I swear to God, this really was an accident. So I was going through Facebook Marketplace, as I always do. You know, you just can't pass up a deal, right? You always have to be looking. So uh, I'm going through Facebook Marketplace. I'm out looking for a motorcycle. I swear to God, I'm out looking for a motorcycle. It's October. Who's looking for a motorcycle in October, right? That's when you want to look for a motorcycle. So I'm going through Marketplace, and I see this sports to pop up. You guys, we've already talked about this. I have a thing for sports. Shoes. I've owned over 30 of them over the years, and I have a really, really sweet 883R, a 2002 883R at the house. I don't even keep it at the shop. It stays in the house. It stays nice, right? And I ride it very sparingly because the bike is pristine, you know? So, at any rate, make a long story short, this thing pops up, okay? So, it's a 1999 83C. And I'm going to go into that in a minute. I'll tell you what C means in a minute. So, it's an 83C. And it's on there. It's listed for 2500 bucks. Okay, so now picture this now. It's sitting on a trailer and it's got tie downs on it, right? Like it's like it's a not running bike. Okay, so 2500 bucks is about half of what they go for. Typically, you find a, a decent running, decent condition sportster, an Evo, right? Hard to move iron heads. I love iron heads, but you know what? I think my iron head these are done. So Typically, you see them for $4,500, $5,000. This one's a $2,500. It's sitting on a trailer. It's got tie downs. Okay, it's a non runner. You know what? This could be a great thing, you know, a, a revival. Let's buy a cheap Sportster and over the winter, we'll fix whatever's wrong with it. So maybe the transmission's blown up, maybe the motor's blown up. But the bottom line is it's an Evo Sportster. And like, there is nothing that could be wrong with this bike that you can't fix for under a thousand bucks. So I'm like, Let's do this. This could be a possible series over the winter. Because I have been wanting to do bike content. So I show up at the guy's house and it's not on the trailer. It's sitting in his garage. And I says, uh, so what's it need? So he says, well, it needs a battery. He says, I'll take 300 bucks off. I says, really? He says, yeah, give me 2200 for the bike. But what's it need? Like, what's wrong with it? So he says, well, you know, I just got to get rid of it. My wife doesn't want to ride anymore, and I just wanted to, I don't want to be bothered. So I give him 2200 bucks. I jump on a bike. I ride it home, okay? And as I'm riding it home, I realize it needs nothing. This bike really is sweet. And then once I got it home, and I started really looking it over, because, I mean, at the time, like, I bought it. I was like, well, here's the money. I don't really care, you know, for, for that kind of money. I don't really care what it is. Does it have a title? I rode the thing home. I ride it around a little bit. It's a really sweet bike. So let me show you what I got here. So, so it's a 1999 883R, uh, C rather. Now C is means custom, okay? So I already did the video on my 883R, okay? And you know, it's the Roadster version and it's got, it's got cast wheels, it's got dual disc fronts. Um, it's got, you know, it's got the orange tank. I'll put a link to that video. So at any rate, this is what they call the C or the Custom, okay? So the Custom has a 21 inch tall front spoke wheel, right? Where the, the typical Sportsters have 19s. The Custom has slightly longer fork and it has a 21 inch diameter front wheel, which by the way, these tires are literally brand new. They still have the nipples on them. I didn't know that when I bought the bike. But yeah, it still has the nipples on them. Same for the back. So the Custom also has this headlight. Instead of it being mounted under the triple, you know, with that eyebrow deal typical of Sportsters, it has this type of, of headlight on it. Um, it has risers with drag bars, which is just a little awkward because one of the things one of the features of the c the custom is that the custom comes with forward controls i don't really like forward controls but they do fit this bike i like a, a mid control like it's like it's on this typical sportster but one of the features of the custom was the forward controls and the drag bars which puts you in like a c you know when you're riding the bike you're literally in a c so it's a little awkward. It's a little uncomfortable because your, your legs want to come off or your heels want to come off the pegs. You really want to have a more laid back 
position when you've got forward controls so your body weight is kind of pushing at your feet but that's beside the point i'm 510 and this just just barely makes it as being an okay situation so the uh the custom usually comes with a different tank this is the traditional peanut tank but the previous owner told me the original tank was all dented and and bashed up so he had this one it's brand new traditional peanut tank fresh paint fresh paint on the fender fresh paint on the tank fresh paint on the back bumper or the back the back fender and somewhere along the line somebody fired the the screaming eagle chrome accessory cannon at this thing so it had it's got a little bit of chrome everywhere it's got the chrome cover here it's got the screaming eagle exhaust i'm not crazy about these turnouts or at least i haven't been like this wouldn't not have been my choice i prefer you know the, the pipes to face straight back or a two and a one but i tell you what after riding this bike for you know 50 miles or so they actually kind of grew on me i like the sound i like the sound and this balance tube that they used on these bikes actually does even things out so the bike has a, a pretty unique tone to it that, it that it's growing on me it's got chrome sprocket cover it's got chrome wheel cover on the back the uh the, the custom comes with the spoke in the front and a solid rear in the back i had to take a few things off i like it was like way overdone it had like you know this 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 emblem which i got to get rid of this but that's besides the one it had this over here so i took that part off of it um let's see it had it had like a, a giant chunky cover on the choke it was giant it was like you know you grab your whole hand on this thing so i got rid of that it's got some it's got some extra chrome it's got chrome all over the place but it's not in bad shape this is about the only damage on it the rest of it is pretty clean um the seat good lord i hate this seat it's the most unsportster like thing i've ever seen in my life but it's kind of comfortable it's a mustang seat when i bought this bike it had these brought it home i'm like oh this has got to go right this has got to go but i didn't have any suitable sportster seats and in my mind the sportster seat should be narrow and low and just sleek like on my 883r but it, and this is like a 500 dollars seat it looks like a toilet it looks like you're sitting on a toilet seat right but that's beside the point it had these giant chrome medallions with tassels hanging off like okay you know what i can kind of live with this seat for a while but this stuff's gotta go so i just whack those off real quick and uh i'll find a suitable seat for it or maybe i'll just leave this one because it's not that objectionable anymore once these things are off and then at some point somebody added an led tail light which is like in my mind it's like another like very non-sportster type of thing and these uh these led turn signals i'll try to find the nice you know the, the original chrome bullets that go on there and i'll put a traditional tail light back on here it just looks weird it just doesn't it's not sportster light you know sportster stuff should be like throwback so yeah this is the bike it's not bad it runs really good yeah let's fire this thing up And the only other thing I had with this bike was uh, when I first went to ride it, I had like quarter throttle. Like, what the hell is going on with this? You know, if you're familiar with these bikes, they use a double throttle cable. So this is the throttle cable that opens the carburetor. And then there's a second throttle cable that closes the carburetor. People who build hot rod bikes or customs or anything never, ever put that secondary, the shutoff cable on it. But this the secondary the shutoff cable was seized so you could only get about a quarter throttle out of it 
second before it would run into that seized part of the shutdown cable. So I just I just clipped the cable off of it. This it, this might be why the guy wanted to get rid of it because the bike had like no power. You know, you couldn't climb a hill with the damn thing. Now it's all there. You know, the motor's solid. Whatever these 883s make, I don't know, it's like, it's like 48, 50 horsepower, something like that. It's more than enough to motivate this thing down the down the street. There's like nice chrome covers everywhere. It's just chrome everywhere. So, yeah, I like it. What the hell am I going to do with this thing? Like, I seriously, I bought it. I bought it saying, I, okay, here's a project. We'll just run through this thing. We'll fix it up. We'll do the whole cheap bike revival thing. There's not no revive. All I could do is drive it. So I think that's what I'm going to do for a while. Just rack some miles up with it. I don't have any plans other than that. Like, I really don't feel like hot riding one of these things. Uh, well, maybe I do. I don't know. But I think I'm just going to run this thing around for a little while. Take my, my 83R out. Just just sparingly, nicely. You know, you don't understand. I take that bike out and I, I ride it for an hour and I spend an hour cleaning it. I just love it. I just love that bike. So maybe I'll use this as my bang around, knock around bike. I don't know. But there you go. The deals are out there, right? There's no excuse for not having a cheap motorcycle. You can find them anywhere. Well, you find them on Facebook Marketplace, especially this time of the year because riding season's over and people are like, oh, got to get rid of this thing now. Now's the time you get your deals. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go right now. I'll see you tomorrow.